Hello guys, I am Yadika Reddy and welcome to the series of Selenium interview questions. In this video, I am going to discuss about one of the most important interview questions that is, what is the difference between find element and find elements in Selenium web driver. So generally in our automation, if you want to perform any operations on any elements, first we need to find out the element, right? So once we have the element, then only we can perform the operation. So if you don't have the element, you cannot perform any operation, right? So to find these elements, Selenium web driver is providing us two methods. Those are find element and find elements. So in this video, we will see what is the difference and in which scenario we need to use which method and we will also see how to answer in the interview also. Okay. So first I will show you what is the differences. Then I will show you where we need to use which one. Then we will go for the answer interview answer. Okay. So let's get started. So these are the differences guys. Okay. So here first thing is when there are multiple elements present on the web page. Okay. That means for suppose you are trying to find out the element using one locator. Okay. But using that locator, there are multiple elements available. So it is not a unique element. There are multiple elements available with that locator. So in that scenario, find element will return first element. Okay. So let's say you have 10 elements with some name. Okay. Name is XYZ. So with that XYZ name, you have 10 elements. Okay. So in that scenario, if you use find element, it will return the first occurrence of the element. Okay. So out of all the 10 elements, the first element it will return. But in the find elements, it will return all the elements, all the 10 elements it will return. So similarly, if there is only one element in the web page by using that locator, if there is only one element, then obviously the find element will return that single element and the find elements also will return the single element, but in the form of a list only. Okay. Because find elements will return list of web elements. So here returns all the elements in the form of list and here also returns a single element in the form of a list only. Okay. And the third one is when there is no element present on the web page. So you are trying to find out some element, but that element is not present. So in that scenario, find element will throw an exception. Okay. So if the element is not present, it will throw an exception. That is no such element exception. But whereas find elements will not throw any exception. Okay. So it will not throw any exception, but it return the zero count because it is returning a list, right? So the list size can be a zero. Okay. So it will return zero elements. Okay. And the next one is return type. So obviously the find element is returning a single web element. That is why the return type of this one is web element and find elements is returning multiple elements. That means a collection of elements. Okay. So here the collection we are using is list. So list of web elements it will return. Okay. And the last one is how to access. So for suppose if the find element is returning you web element, how do you access that? So you can directly access that because it is a web element only, right? So on top of that web element, you can perform any operation. Either it is click operation, send keys or any operation you can perform. Okay. But whereas the find elements is returning list of web elements, right? So you cannot perform any operation. The Selenium web driver direct operations, you cannot perform on this list. Okay. List is a type of collection which is coming from the Java. It is not coming from the Selenium, right? So you cannot perform any Selenium operations directly on this list. So for that, first you need to iterate the list and access each item. So from this list, each item is nothing but one web element. So on that item, you can perform any operation like click or send keys. So these are the differences guys. So you can see the major difference here is this one and this one. So in the find element, it is always going to return one single element. And in the find elements, it is going to return multiple elements. Okay. And the next difference, main difference is in the find element, if the element is not present, it is going to throw exception for you. But in the find elements, it is not going to throw an exception. Okay. So these are the differences. So now let me show you in which scenarios you need to use which one. Okay. So here I have one web page. Okay. So you can take any web page here. I'm just showing you one example. So for suppose you see here, I have one table. So if I want to check this checkbox based on the contact name, so it will be a unique one, right? So I have one unique contact name and using that unique contact name, I want to check one checkbox. So in this scenario, I'm going to deal with only one single element. So I'm going to use find element method. Okay. So in these kind of scenarios where you need to handle only a single element in those scenarios, you can use the find element method. And for suppose if I want to get all the contact names from this one, or if I want to see how many buttons are present in this one. Okay. Or if I want to see how many links are present here, then I need to get all the elements, right? So here I need to get all the contact names. So each contact name is actually present inside one table cell. So I need to get all the table cells and I need to iterate each table cell. Then I need to get the text of the table cell, right? 
so that means i am dealing with multiple elements here so not only this one so for suppose if i want to get all the buttons i mean if i want to see how many buttons are there then i need to know the count right so in that scenario also i am dealing with multiple elements not a single element okay so whenever you are dealing with multiple elements then you need to use the find elements method so that is the main difference guys okay so that is where you need to actually use find element and find elements so in case if you are referring to only single element go for the find element method in case if you are referring to multiple elements like this you want to get all the contact names from the table or you want to get all the buttons or you want to get all the links so in those scenarios you need to go for the find elements method okay so now i'll tell you what is the answer that you need to provide in the interview so this is the answer you need to tell in the interview so this can be modified okay so these are my own words so you can modify this one as per your understanding okay so i have shown the differences here right so as per these differences you can modify the answer also okay so here you can see find element method returns the first matching element on the current web page if the element is not found then it is going to throw an exception that is no such element exception whereas find elements method returns all the matching elements on the current web page and it does not throw any exception if the element is not found but instead of that it is going to return zero elements okay so this is the answer that you can provide in the interview so it is very clear guys okay so here i will show you in the eclipse also so this is a syntax for find element and this is a syntax for find elements so basically nothing much difference guys driver dot find element you will write here and driver dot find elements you will write here okay so inside that the locator value and this one is same so here you are going to store that one inside web element and here you are going to store this one inside list of web elements so this one you can directly handle here i am storing this one into first name txt right so i am directly performing the operation on this one but here you cannot perform the operation directly on this elements because this elements is a list list is coming from the java not from the selenium so that is why first i need to iterate all this list items then on each element i can perform the selenium operations okay so this is the difference between find element and find elements guys so that is for this video guys i hope you enjoy this video If you like the video please hit the like button and also don't forget to share this video with your friends thank you guys bye bye